Hello everyone, this is ASMRF today welcoming you to my new tutorial in Photoshop. Today I'll make or play this type of uh, light effect in a Photoshop. So uh, let's see what was the previous uh, image or the non-edited image. This one was the non-edited image and I downloaded this image from the deviana.com and for the output I'll give you this type of output. Okay, let's play or let's do it. At first make copy by pressing ctrl J or you can just drag and drop this layer into new layer options it will be copy okay after that I will apply the dodge burn option in this photo after that I will apply the lights for the dodge burn options you have to make another two copy of this layer another one will be the B D for dodge and another B B for burn okay turn off the D option just uh, turn on the B option and make it skin blending mode and go to the blending options and here is slider you have to slide this and press the alter button it will divide and adjust the light with the skin and hit the ok button then mask it and go to the image and apply image and hit the ok button and same process turn on the D layer make it multiply for the shadow and blending options and for the in this case uh, this slider will work and press the ultra button it will just divide and you can adjust the lights you can uh, adjust the opacity from here also and hit the ok button and mask it go to the image again and apply image in this case make it invert and hit the ok button and select these two things make it group and make it mask again image and apply image and just uncheck the invert option and hit ok we'll get nice light from here the prominent light in a face or the skin ok uh, now one thing is that the light is coming from here so uh, this light the dodge burn will have, uh, just help you to make more prominent the light source and the light in a skin ok that's good and selecting these two things making it group making it merge after merging this one I will apply some effect and lights light bokeh light bokeh I'll give uh, the light bokeh uh, stocks to you uh, download link in my video description so don't forget to check out my video description go to the file and place embedded option uh, and I downloaded some light texture and I'll give it this download link in my video description so don't worry about that okay I'm taking this one first one and make it place but uh, light source is uh, in a to top top side so I'll make it invert or rotate 180 degree and hit the tick button and I'll increase the opacity after that go to the blending mode and make it skin for making screen but uh, uh, in a phase uh, we're getting some light bokeh so what should I do make it mask after masking this one when this one is white make it black or reset this one make it, make it black after take a brush which is the first brush the hardness 0% and 90 pixel and you can adjust the opposite and flow and brush over there just remove the prominent light from the face or skin okay that's nice that's good okay but one thing is that uh, in this table uh, light should be reflected okay uh, for that uh, I'll just select this layer this this model layer actually this layer and I'll go to the pen tool and I'll just separate this portion the table portion okay I'm just selecting this portion and I'll make it separate okay uh, this one is not uh, too much hard to do that it's easy task okay 
just select right button and make selection make it 0 pixel and hit ok and con press ctrl j for the and press ctrl j uh, we are getting here at the table uh, in uh, other options so and after that i'll take in a upper side of this upper upper side of this light layer okay after that i'll go to the file again and uh, go to the place embedded i'll take the light again and i'll just replace this in this portion and i'll make it the create clipping mask here is the lights so uh, make it screen mode blending mode and press ctrl t again and you have to adjust the lights okay like that and hit the ok button reduce the opacity of these lights okay for that it will be more natural and uh, okay nice that's good and after that go to the adjustment layer and take color lookup and horror blue color from the horror blue color make it the opposite down and 23 percent is good and that's nice and after that select all the things in a group and make it merge after that go to the filter and then camera raw filter from the camera filter i will adjust the lights or other things and uh, camera calibration from the camera calibration i will make it like that little bit primary color and green primary color like that and red primary color like that plus 24 plus 20 and minus 42 and you, you can increase or decrease the saturation of that it's up to you from the hsl option i'll make it um, just luminance of orange i'll increase and saturation of yellow i'll increase and from the sharpen from the sharpening or detail options i'll add some sharpening and luminance of noise reducer and add some detail over there that's good luminance i'll increase for the smooth look and from the rgb mode i'll go to the blue in a curves and make it like that okay and hit the ok button It'll get nice effect without uh, any kind of plugins but uh, you need the camera raw filter if you are using photoshop creative cloud 2017 or 18 you are getting in by default uh, camera raw filter so don't worry about that okay we are getting this type of amazing photos let's see what was the previous one this one is a, a previous photo uh, and after editing this one you, by using the extra light bokeh you are getting this image to your output Okay, thank you so much. Thanks for watching my video tutorial. If you have any kind of question or query, please do comment on my video comment section. If you have any kind of request, please do request on my video comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend. It will inspire me a lot. And I'll give you amazing tutorial in future. So till the next video, I am ASMR signing out and bye-bye.